Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So this year's annual feature update, Windows 11 24H2, is soon going to be rolling out to the general public. And as I have been posting, I would suggest we will see the release of 24H2 sometime in October. Personally, I think we'll see it near the end of October. And I've posted a whole video on that, and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. Now, my reason for posting this video is because if you are interested to test out 24H2, just, you know, maybe in a virtual machine or on another device that isn't your main machine, then according to Bob Pony over on X, Microsoft has released updated evaluation ISO files under the update KB5043080 for 64-bit machines only for the upcoming Windows releases when it comes to Windows 11 24H2, which fall in the categories of Windows 11 version 24H2 Enterprise LTSC, Windows Server 2025, which is also based on version 24H2, and Azure Stack HCR version 24H2. So if you want to get your hands on a couple of these ISO images for Windows 11 24H2, then what I'll do is I'll leave that post from Bob Pony I'll leave this link down below. And yeah, you've got all the download links. Yeah, we have for Windows 11 Enterprise, LTSC. You've got English and the other languages. We've got Windows 11 Enterprise. The same applies, English, then some other languages. And we've got Windows Server 2025. The same applies. And Azure Stack HCR version 2024. So you get the idea. So you can head over to this page if you want to get your hands on some of these ISO image files for those versions of Windows 11 24H2. If you want to test the update out before it becomes available to the general public, but just take note regarding evaluation images. Evaluation images don't require to be activated. So you don't have to activate them like a normal copy of Windows 11 or Windows, but you can only use them for 90 days. That's why they're called evaluation. So after 90 days, you won't be able to use them. So as I suggest, I would, if you want to try it out, just install it in a VM or on another device you're not using as your daily driver. And if you want the so-called regular ISO, which will be rolling out to the general public with the release of version 24H2, which by the way, I have posted on. So I'll also leave that video linked down below in the end screen. Then you can head over to uh, the official download Windows 11 website when the 24H2 feature update becomes available, this will all change to version 24H2, as I've mentioned previously, and here's where you'll be able to download the 24H2 ISO image file when it does become available, when the annual feature update rolls out. And this page will only change, as mentioned, when 24H2 starts becoming officially available as a consumer version to the general public. But if you are wanting to try out an evaluation copy under those different versions, then as mentioned, just head over to this post by Bob Pony. And yeah, we've got all the download links for the Enterprise, LTSC, Windows Server 2025, and Azure Stack HCR version 24H2. And this, by the way, is just another indication because the evaluation copies have become available that the official release of 24H2 is, I think, only days away. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.